Hello, today let's uh, take a step aside from different expensive uh, headphones and talk about really precious things and I mean different accessories because uh, our hobby is impossible without uh, different accessories and uh, when I speak about this topic first company that, and main company that came to my mind is DD Hi-Fi. You know, they are really a miraculous uh, company because they started with just few leather cases, but now it's like number one creator of different accessories for the portable audio. Of course, a lot of these uh, uh, things you can find in some other companies, but uh, never they are made with that uh, sense of style, with that attention to everything. And actually, never you will find that uh, same amount of everything in one place. They have a great lineup of earphone cables, I reviewed few of them. They have uh, also non-audio cables like USB, coaxial and so on. They even made some good interconnect cables, uh, so they have it. They created great set of really useful bags with pretty reasonable price, starting with small ones and ending with pretty big shoulder bags that can be used for different players, digital converters, batteries, power banks and so on. So you can build any setup on the go. They have a huge, almost uh, hard to imagine amount of adapters from any connector to any connector. So you name just two popular audio connectors and the D Hi-Fi with maximum probability will have adapter from that to that. And uh, also they create now set of ear tips and so on. In the past I uh, periodically created uh, review videos about their new models, their new creations. Unfortunately, I paused that due to war, but now I have an opportunity to get back to that uh, habit. Hopefully it will continue, because they have a lot of interesting things that I missed during that pause. And uh, today I want to show you just a few things they can offer and uh, uh, describe some scenarios, probably. So, let's start with uh, DD Hi-Fi XLR44C. It's basically, you can see even on the box, it's adapter from the 4-pin uh, XLR female to 4.4 mm male, male balanced output. So, situation is simple. You have some good headphone cable with that classical traditional XLR connector. I have really great custom-made silver, silver plated leads from era in ear. Ukraine, Ukrainian local creator, so it got uh, great full rotation on one side, but unfortunately modern players have enough power to drive a lot of headphones, but they don't have XLR connector. And actually, you know, I hope it will remain same uh, true in the future, because still XLR connector not for the portable audio. But still I want to use this cable because it's great, so he, this uh, simple $40 adapter came to help. So, package is traditional, recycled, eco-friendly cardboard, not bleached, so inside of this box you'll get a bit of silica gel, small card about warranty, and the adapter itself. So it's simple, it's straightforward, and what is also important, it looks attractive. So here is female connector, just plug it, and actually they, they are connected really well and hold this connection. And here is traditional pentacon. So we just have to plug it here and it's working. Of course, it's not something to use in the portable scenario because even in, seven, in the, sorry, even in M17, it's easy to break the connector by applying some force here because the lever is pretty big. But in the portable, oh, sorry, in the desktop usage, you definitely can use your headphones or you can even put it on the stand, so in many cases it will work uh, great. Or, for example, if you have that modern digital tonal converter without 4-pin uh, exit, 
we have such uh, digital tonal converters and amplifiers now. Next one is DD Hi-Fi TC09BC and uh, picture on the box and actually this abbreviation hints that it's a USB cable and uh, BC means that on one side we're getting type B connector that is most commonly used in uh, desktop digital to analog converters and from other side we have a type C connector also they have BA with USB type A connector I have type C to connect to different players so for me it's more useful scenario but if you want to connect it to the desktop or laptop uh, you'll need BA it's a pretty expensive USB cable, 50 centimeter costs $80 and 1 meter like $96 or so. But it belongs to the NYX series products and that means that DD Hi-Fi used really high quality wiring here. Even on photo you can see that there are two separate lines, one for the power and second for the data. And uh, for the data they used uh, high purity pure silver leads uh, with oxygen free copper uh, shielding and for the power they use high purity uh, oxygen free copper leads and in uh, silver uh, for shielding they used uh, silver plated leads so pretty expensive cables means uh, really means pretty expensive cable but actually you know, uh, you know I will say some thoughts on that at the end so we're removing outer uh, sleeve and inside getting cable it was uh, winded much more accurately of course and it wasn't this uh, bag but i already unpacked it few times uh, so it's just uh, not that fancy winded because i'm not that patient so here it is it's a one meter version uh, and you can see really good uh, quality connectors on both sides uh, I didn't remove uh, film on both sides but we'll do it uh, later because I need them to stay in this pristine condition until I make uh, photos at least and here are two separate parts you can see it in my opinion looks pretty attractive and uh, fun it's uh, not super flexible but uh, it, uh, it's not supposed to be used on the go, so in this scenario it's uh, not that important. But look is re really outstanding. It will definitely fit in your setup, especially if you use uh, some kind of desktop setup near your computer or laptop. It will look really good. And as for the impact on the sound, I'll be honest with you. So my position, uh, based on my knowledge of uh, USB protocol, is that uh, all normal USB cables uh, transfer data equally good. And uh, I even uh, seen some tests uh, on YouTube, like uh, guys transmitted USB audio uh, by regular cable. Of course, it should be like normal cable, because bad cable can do something bad with sound, but all normal cables they transmit using some good quality printer cable, if I remember right, and they calculated uh, amount of errors, and in they tested it for about 50 hours, and during that they've got one or two bits transmitted with error, so it's definitely not that impact on the sound. And all that things about jitter and so on, we have modern XMOS that does buffering, the jittering and so on. And uh, <clears throat> in any case, you know, uh, if even something will be done with the digital data, it won't be like adding base or like uh, making software treble because the uh, impact will be random and it can be done this way so it works like some kind of equalizer because for the digital data equalization requires a lot of uh, things and fiddling because so uh, this uh, impact won't be uh, uh, present by the changing some tonality or something like that so don't expect that changes from USB cable. Where it can be helpful and uh, what it can give you definitely, 
in cases when you have uh, some electromagnetic interference uh, that can uh, distort uh, transmission of the data but it's not really common case uh, but sometimes it can be and even in that case actually it uh, your digital converter will be just disconnecting or doing that uh, uh, rippling but not like adding base removing base improving stage or something like that no this interference can distort signal and that will cause disconnections or it can uh, cause rippling sounds uh, if something is uh, like uh, impacting the signal from the outside like old 2G smartphone but to remove it completely you will also need the USB power cleaner to avoid that but luckily most modern digital tonal converters already have some uh, good implementation of power supply and they don't uh, getting impacted by the some noise on the power line so it can help you in, in cases when you got some interference by the power line but in cases of uh, power line interference, uh, it's, you know, always good to check uh, whether your computer has ground loops because it's uh, really not really com common scenario, but sometimes it happens and it's bad for every component of your computer, not only digital tonal converter. So for ground loop, it's better to take some measures, but uh, this cable can uh, additionally improve the st situation for your digital tonal converter in cases of some interference on the power line and also it looks attractive and does its job exceptionally well next one is dd hi5 st35 set of silicon tips in this uh, box you get uh, three pairs you can get uh, three pairs of one size or a mixed set of uh, different sizes and uh, these tips are super cheap like nine dollars or so for a set and came with a small but pleasant bonus We'll show it to you a bit later. They made of uh, high-grade medical silicone with special coating, and DD Hi-Fi uh, create them, uh, keeping uh, unobtrusiveness in mind. So they try to create tips that will impact sound as less as possible, and will be as uh, less noticeable in your ears also as possible. And actually, they succeed. Uh, at least uh, to my ears, tips are super comfortable and great to wear. So, uh, box looks this way, this time some why it's not that recycled cardboard, uh, just plain white paper, so let's dig deeper, and here is the tips, and that case, actually when I was thinking about the bonus in the access, in the set it's this case because it's a good uh, plastic case that you can use not only for tips but for some extra things let me open it so it's not that difficult to open actually it's just looking through camera as you can see all tips have their separate departments here use this plastic organizer but of course you can take them out and put all tips in one section and in other sections you can store some DD Hi-Fi adapter, micro SD cards or other useful things. So here are tips themselves. They have a stem diameter of 33.5 mm. Actually it's in the name of this uh, tips. Here it is. Uh, <coughs> DD Hi-Fi said that they selected green uh, color of uh, grass. For me it's more olive, but it def definitely looks uh, green and fresh. And orange it's the morning sun. <coughs> Poetic description, but uh, tips are really good. In terms of uh, spouts, you can feed them to a lot of modern models, because uh, usually we've got like uh, something, something like 3.5 mm or so. Here, for example, my beloved uh, IMR Ra. I use them, I don't know, since the moment they were released, my most used uh, earphones and actually you can see a bit signs of wearing and cable became less flexible but still ho they hold up really well, both in terms of sound and tuning and uh, their exterior look. So they fitting easily to their spouts, hold really well and I like that level of comfort in ears. Here is. 
uh, IMR tip that I really like and often use. They have a bit thicker silicone and actually it's uh, a bit less flexible, but for me it's like a good amount usually. Here you're getting softer, but actually it's not that soft. I don't remember which company made, but uh, I tested some time ago super soft and uh, super thin silicones. It's not that thin there because with uh, thin silicone sometimes you insert it into ear and it gets uh, distorted and uh, you got sound leakage through one of the twinkles in the silicone. Uh, with a super thin one it's hard to get proper seal. But uh, they are flexible enough but not super soft uh, to provide good isolation. And also they are super smooth on the outer surface. This one is a bit more coarse. Uh, <clears throat> not much, but this one is really smooth and if you have sensitive ears, uh, this uh, set of uh, DD Hi-Fi tips is uh, really worth trying. The last, but probably the most important for me, uh, gadget is DD Hi-Fi HS270. HS definitely stands for headphone stand and 270 I think it's uh, heads in millimeters, so it's 27 centimeter, but I'm not completely sure here. This uh, stand is made of metal and uh, genuine leather, and it exists in two versions. Uh, or original regular one that uses brown leather and uh, silver polished steel, and the uh, limited version dedicated to the year of the rabbit, and uh, here is the limited version. It's uh, black with uh, rabbit's embossing on the foundation. And, uh, you know, <laughs> to be honest, I like the uh, design of regular one a bit more, but I'm a huge fan of limited things, even including headphone stand. And also black one will match my desktop uh, setup better, because I use black uh, uh, Fio R7, black PL50, black uh, power uh, strip stripe and so on so let's remove this cardboard ring price is about 85 uh, to 90 dollars uh, depend uh, depending on shops uh, and let's open so it came in separate parts you'll get this rod separately Also, let's dig further from which side it's supposed to be opened, actually. Or it's not. Let's see. So, here is foundation, actually pretty heavy. The weight of this headphone stand is uh, uh, 470 grams. So, foundation is pretty solid and pretty weighty. And here we should get the, this uh, perpendicular thing to hang our headphones. When you will be opening it, be careful to avoid paper cuts, because cardboard can give it to you. So, let's see, did we got all necessary parts or not? I need also screws that should go here. Let's see where it is, it's not here. Oh, I found. It's actually neatly placed in the road itself. So, you need to assemble it manually first. But assembly is really basic, so unscrew this part. You can see that interesting spiral pattern on this rod. And screw it back to attach this rod to foundation. They even have this helper to so you won't need a screwdriver. Holds really well. And second step is 
to screw in this top part. I had to adjust my camera because uh, as you can see this thing is pretty high and, or lengthy or big and it's not fitting fully into the frame or to do it I need to move it really far from my phone and build quality is really nice so that sense of laser on the in the limited version you got you got some rabbits embossed here and the nice accent of red here and on this uh, top part also red stitches looks great so let it let us put it somewhere out of frame and here for example how airpods max looks here in my opinion really good option to store any headphones really universal will suit waste majority of models and one of the most easiest in terms of putting and removing so as you can see gd hi-fi makes a lot of interesting accessories and uh, today i show you just a few of them thank you for listening thank you for your attention and uh, please write in the comments what accessories you use the most have a great day.